Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to evaluate whether or not the geometric series is divergent or convergent. Okay, so the geometric series is something like uh, the format is A plus AR plus AR2 plus AR3 plus a r n minus one and that can continue till infinity okay so as you can see here geometric each term in geometric series is the result of uh, multiplying the previous term by a constant factor r for example here here a r is equal to the previous term times r or a r2 is equal to previous term times r and so on so this can be represented as sigma a or n minus 1 and n varies from 1 to infinity okay and uh, so here we wanted to evaluate whether this series is um, is uh, divergent or convergent let's consider first this case when r is equal to 1 so if r is equal to 1 s n the summation will be equal to a plus a plus a plus a because all of this term will be equal to a because r is equal to 1 and that will be equal to n a and if n tends to infinity therefore uh, s n which is equal to n a will tend to infinity okay that means in other words the limit of s n does not exist and from here you can conclude that the series is divergent okay so remember when therefore when r is equal to 1 uh, the geometric series is always divergent okay so now let's consider another case that is r is not equal to 1 if r is not equal to 1 um, you can write sn as a plus a r plus a r 2 okay and plus a r n minus 1 if you multiply each side of this um, equation by the factor r, you can write rsn is equal to ar plus ar2 plus, and that can continue, plus arn minus 1 plus, and if you multiply this term by n, uh, by r, this will be arn okay and if now you subtract these two um, uh, equation you will get that sn minus r sn will be equal to if you subtract this side from this side this will be cancelled out this will be cancelled out all term will cancel out except the term a and a r n that will be equal to a minus a r n okay in other words 1 minus r times sn will be equal to a times 1 minus rn and from here you can conclude that uh, sn sn is equal to a times r 1 minus r with the power of n divided by 1 minus r okay so now here as as we assume at the beginning r is not equal to 1 so now here you have to con consider two cases. Uh, the first case is that when r is uh, uh, when r is larger than minus one and less than one. So in other words, the absolute value of r is less than one. If that is the case, when n goes to infinity, okay, when n goes to infinity, since r is a uh, value less than one, therefore r with the power of n will be zero. It will be extremely a small number, therefore it is negligible compared to one. Or in other words, this you can consider it is zero or it is negligible as I already mentioned. Therefore, sn will be equal to a because one minus zero is one times a is a divided by one minus r, okay? And that will be the summation of the geometric series when r is less than 1. Absolute value of r is less than 1. Okay? So, in other words, this will be equal, the geometric series will be equal to the first term divided by 1 minus uh, the ratio, the multiplying ratio. And another case is when r, absolute value of r, is larger than 1. So, this is case. Uh, th this is the first case and this is the second case and when that is larger than when, when r is larger than one or absolute value of r is larger than one this uh, term r with the power of n if n goes to infinity will be infinity therefore sn uh, will go to infinity okay in other words that uh, uh, the limit the, the sn doesn't exist that means the the series will be divergent that
anti-vergent. But here, since the series, uh, when, when n goes to infinity, the value of Sn exists and equal to a divided by 1 minus r, this series will be convergent. Convergent. Okay, and that's basically in this way we can evaluate uh, the geometric series. So let me summarize here. Uh, the geometric series, as I mentioned at the beginning, you can uh, define it like that. It is presented by that. So we consider three scenarios. If R is equal to 1, the summation will be Na, and when N goes to infinity, as N goes to infinity, therefore um, the series will be divergent. So that is case 1. Case 2 is for the case when R, uh, the absolute value of R is between uh, 1 and minus 1. And as you can see here, the summation will be equal to Sn equal to A divided by 1 minus R. And that will be, since the, the, the uh, value of Sn when N goes to infinity exists, therefore, uh, and which is equal to this term, Therefore, this series is convergent, and that is case two. And case three is for the case when uh, the multiplying factor is more than one. Okay, and in that case, since the, the value of S n when n goes to infinity uh, doesn't exist, uh, the series is divergent. Okay, so let me just solve a very quick example just to show you how to use this formula. <coughs> For example, consider a series uh, S equal to uh, 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 8 plus 1 divided by 16 plus 1 divided by 32 and that can continues to infinity. What's the summation of this one? So here this is a, a typical example of a geometric series. You see each term is re the result of the previous term times a constant factor and in this case the constant factor r is equal to 1 divided by 2 because you see 1 divided by 2 times 1 divided by 2 will be 1 divided by 4 or 1 divided by 4 times 1 divided by 2 will be 1 divided by 8 or 1 divided by 16 times 1 divided by 2 will be 1 divided by 32 so in other words each term is equal to the previous term time uh, times the a constant factor and we know that in such case as n is equal to a divided by 1 minus r and a is the first term of the series that is 1 divided by 2 1 minus the um, r here is 1 divided by 2, which will be equal to 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 divided by 2, which will be equal to 1. So this series will be equal to 1. Okay? Uh, so I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you are interested, uh, please feel free to subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.